the Christmas story. You know, it's amazing, but I would imagine that most of us could probably make our way through the Scriptures that were just read, leaving out very little of the story that Michelle shared with us from the Scripture this morning. That story's been shared around kitchen tables and Sunday school lessons, churches, among friends and families. For somewhere over 2,000 years, And I guess, in all honesty, I, I've never really wondered what it would have been like to be there that first time. To see the... I imagine it probably happened at night. I mean, I think when the angel appeared, it was something that, that grabbed them just like a spotlight. To have the sky filled with heavenly hosts and their ears filled with heavenly music to journey from the fields and into town to find your way to the stable and actually personally experience the birth of the Messiah Wow, that must have been an amazing event. There's an old saying that we often use that goes like this. Familiarity breeds contempt. And that may be true, but I think even more than that, familiarity breeds indifference. I think it's easy for us to hear the story over and over and over again to the point that it really makes no real impact. It really has no meaning. We're so far removed from the stable that we, we forget what Christmas is all about. We begin living a story that's like Christmas, but not really the Christmas story. We like candles, sing hymns, gather together on a night like this and miss out on the greatest gift ever given. Scripture says that that as the shepherds shared what had been told to them, that the people were amazed. I wonder sometime if God wonders where our amazement is. If we recognize what He offers, if we're willing to respond to His call. That first Christmas, peace was born. That first Christmas, hope entered our space. That first Christmas, God came as Emmanuel. What will our story be this year? Will we allow Christ to be born again? It's a story that, that God hopes to tell once more in your life and in mine. Let's pray. Almighty God, we thank you so much for, for the many blessings that you 
so bountifully provide. But Lord, as we gather this night, we gather to remember, to celebrate, to invite your spirit once again to be born in us. That no matter what we have going on in our life, what brokenness we've experienced, what problems we face, that new hope, joy, and possibilities would rise up. Lord, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you for Christmas because at this time we, we have a time and place that we can, we can point to that reminds us of your precious love. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.